second rounds in the heavyweight division. First, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the all black trunks, tipping the scales this afternoon at 225 pounds, with a professional record of seven wins against two defeats with one draw. Four of these wins by knockout from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce. Balachi! His opponent fighting out of the blue corner. This young man tipped the scale today at a trim and ready, 229 pounds, wearing the black trunks with white stripe, with a professional record of 21 big wins against no defeats, 17 of those wins by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, from the island of Samoa, let's welcome David Tua! There you are then, David Tua, unbeaten in 21 professional contests, which has got him a ranking of number 41 in the IWBR rankings. I'm afraid Bellucci, <laughs> Bellucci is down at number 239. So things don't all go too well for him here. He's won seven, lost two. Draw one. Now, I've told the story of David Tua's history in the past. He used to work in his dad's uh, grocery shop, and his old man was really keen that uh, David should box, and he got people off the street to spar with him. If David didn't win, his father would give him a spank as well. He's only 11 at the time, and it looks like it stood him in pretty good stead. Now, one thing you should know immediately is that these two have fought before. It was at the start of last year, and I'm afraid Bellocci only lasted, well, he lasted less than a round. And two has beat a couple of names you'll remember, the aging Ken Lacusta from Canada, Dan the businessman Murphy, and Mauricio Villegas. The Mexican heavyweight who looks like he's tall enough to be a flyweight. So David Tua then, very solid individual, comes from Western Samoa. And boxed of course for New Zealand in the Barcelona Olympic Games, got him bronze. And uh, that must be the first medal for Western Samoa at any event in their history. They moved, in fact, uh, over to Auckland in New Zealand thereafter. And his dad was a former middleweight. I don't think he was a pro, though. Nice work there by Tua. And, of course, he can really, really relax here against uh, Belochi. Having beaten him once before. And two are managed by Lou Duva and Shelley Finkel. And another trained by uh, George Benton, himself a top class middleweight of the 60s. In fact, they reckon Benton was a bit too good for his own good. Bruce Bellocci, originally from Queens in New York, now boxing out of Fort Lauderdale, and uh, I'm afraid losing the first round. Well, it's further than uh, Bellocci went before when these two met. And for Tua, it was three fights ago, but this is the first outing for Bellocci since that first round loss to David Tua as we come up for round two. Only a 
couple of decent shots there from Belochi. Well, these are good body punches by Tua. They could be better, because he's not actually putting a great deal of body behind them. They're more or less arm punch. He's just getting a nice rhythm going there, banging out a tune on Bilochi's ribs. Well, they've hurt Bilochi, that's for absolutely sure. He's bending over now. And normally guys like this, you can hit them in the head all day. But when you switch downstairs, that's when they start to feel the punishment. Big left hook from Tua. Nice work there by Tua, and I do like the way that Tua is switching that left hook from head to body. Beautiful and fast. Of course, there's a lot of guys who not even get in with it. And plenty who will hit him back when he tries anything, but at the moment, at this level anyway, he looks very good, doesn't he? In fact, oh, well, it looks like Belochi's had one body punch too many. Stay down, Bruce. Well, he's up at eight. Well, the, the, certainly the finish is on the cards here for two, I think, in this second round. Boom, now nah, that's it. That'll do, surely. Yes, the referee's, in fact, waved it off immediately. And that time, the left hook to the chin that put him over. Well, at least this time, Veloci lasted a couple of minutes longer. Watch that again. That was a very well-placed left hook, no doubt about that. But when it's the number 239th heavyweight in the world, nothing to write home about, I'm afraid. It's a win. And it's win number 22. At two minutes and 39 seconds of the second round. The winner by technical knockout, David Tua. So David Tua then declared the winner 22 on the spin, 18 inside the distance. And we've still got tonight's main event to come. And it's the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. So the big boys, one.